hello guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video guys is gonna be a continuation of my quran vlog so actually guys ngayon na lang ulit ako nakapag upload ng videos because ngayon lang din ako nakapag edit <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video it's another day here in Quran Palawan and it's another island hopping tour again guys so actually this is the second island hopping that I had in Quran Palawan so we are on our way now to our first destination which is the Coco Beach it is called Coco Beach because there's a lot of coconut trees in there so let's go ahead And as you can see guys, the weather is not really good, even if it's early morning, but then I hope later on it will be a sunny day. So here we are guys, we are arriving in my own island, Charis. Anyway guys, we are arriving here in Coco Beach, here in Koran. And look at that guys, so many beautiful coconut trees in there, very lively. And look at the water, it's so colored, it looks like swimming pool or better than that. And it feels so good guys because I think we are just few tourists that is arriving in here. And look at those boats guys, these are uniquely carved boats here in the Philippines they are used for tourism and it's really spacious they actually have toilet inside and also they can also cook inside the boat wow look at the water guys it's crystal and clear even if it's pouring now it's just amazing The view of the Philippines is just amazing. Just when you arrive guys, um, you have to walk on this area, in this grassy area um, towards the beach. And it's actually refreshing, it's so green and it's very relaxing as well. So we are here now. It's really beautiful, it looks like Boracay. Look at that view. Mm, actually, in this beach, um, I like to compare it with Boracay. So if you have visited Boracay before, you can see the similarity of the white sand beach and also the coconut trees along the beach. And of course, the color of the water is just turquoise or light blue. And it's just amazing. What I like about this tour, guys, is not really a common island hopping tour in Quran. And it's not much tourist, so you can wear whatever you want in here and just chill out. They also have hammock here so if you are exhausted swimming you can just sit here and chillax you can take your Instagram photos and also make videos of yourself just like me guys another activity is called fish feeding so we rented out a boat uh, it costs like 100 per head and if you don't have snorkeling gear with you guys, you can rent some uh, at around 100 to 150 pesos each. Mm -hmm. 
unfortunately guys I don't know how to swim so I use my life vest all the time as you can see and yes uh, it's one of my bucket lists as well to learn how to free dive one day So now actually Kuya, our tour guide, is showing the four giant clams and the smallest clownfish ever. So actually in Corona, I met a friend, a few friends, and this is Anne. She knows how to free dive. And I think she enrolled herself in Bahal for like how much is it? Six thousand a session. And I didn't know that it's such an expensive to enroll uh, to learn how to free dive here in the Philippines. But then yeah, hopefully one day I will be able to you know save up uh, and also enroll myself to learn how to free dive. Uh, in this tour guys, I met uh, a family, uh, actually they are on a vacation and yeah, they're very nice and funny as well. <laughs> as you all guys can see, we are super tired and we just want to relax a bit. And now we are heading to our next destination, which is the Banana Island. So in Banana Island, guys, we are going to eat our lunch there. So in every um, island hopping tour, guys, here in the Philippines, usually lunch is free. So this is our lunch for today's video and we have tortang talong, we have chop suey, our grilled crown fish, it's huge and we have pork liempo, it's cut into pieces and also chicken adobo and of course rice. Actually, they call this Banana Island. Uh, it's because of the size or the shape of the island. It's small and it shapes like banana. Curve one. our final destination here guys this island is called Malkapuyo Island so this island has a sandbar uh, that's the highlight of this um, island and yeah I'm very excited and actually it's super hot so don't forget to wear your sunscreen and bring your sunglasses with you guys So actually guys, this is the first ever sandbar here in Koron, Palawan. I think the other one is called the Taytayan Island. So it's also a sandbar, especially if it's low tide, you can really see the sand.
once our island tour guys but before we head home guys they gave us a snack called banana Q or caramelized banana in English it's so sweet soft hot and tasty it's good for our tummy and our tired body from snorkeling and swimming again thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and put your suggestions or your comments down below guys so i can read it and i will see you on my next video goodbye